Hello everyone, this is Brajeshwar Singh and you're watching Emoino Live Top 20 News. In order to keep track of elephants and better monitoring of the pachyderms, Kachar forest officials have started implanting microchips in them. The three-day camp, which began at Sonai Forest Office on Wednesday, was next held at Salchapra on Thursday and Sonai and Matinagar of Kachar district on Friday. The camp also consisted of health checkup for the elephants and verification of the owner. The Assam government has announced a new standard operating procedure for the state amid rising cases of the new variant of COVID-19, Omicron. The state health minister, Kesab Mahanta, on Saturday announced the new SOP while addressing a press conference in Assam's Kaliabor. Close on the heels of Foreign Secretary Harsh B. Shringla taking up with Myanmar's military rulers on the now infamous Churachanpur ambush in Manipur. Union Home Minister Amit Shah held a crucial late-night meeting with Chief Ministers of Assam and Nagaland Himanta Bishwa Sarma and New Few Rio, respectively. Home Minister Shah is likely to brief Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his talks with the Northeastern leaders especially in the context of security implications in taking any decision on AFSPA. The Saurabh Kumar Chaliha Fan Society will celebrate January 1, 2022 as Bhal Khobarur Din in Guwahati. As part of the celebration, the Fan Society has organized a lecture program and the screening of a film at Guwahati Press Club from 3 p.m. on January 1. The chief minister in a video conferencing with the DCs and other officials asked to put adequate restrictions on the roads to avert drink and drive phenomenon. He also asked the DCs to undertake visits to district civil hospitals and medical college hospitals in Assam especially on the night of 31st December and ensure availability of doctors and immediate medical intervention to the victims of road accidents. The Guwahati Traffic Police on Friday night has suspended the licenses of 47 people for drunk driving. Retired senior doctor named Dr. Sanau Singha has passed away. At the age of 84, he was suffering from cancer and on Friday evening, he passed away at HAMM Hospital, Hojai. He was ex-Vice President of Assam Sahitya Parishad, Hojai and retired senior doctor of Assam government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, President Ramnath Kovin extended Christmas greetings to the people of the country. Christmas has been celebrated across the country in a low-key amid the COVID-19 pandemic. During a two-day raid on Thursday and Friday, a team of Directorate General of GST Intelligence, Ahmedabad, recovered Rs 177 crore of unaccounted cash from residents of businessmen Piyush Jain in Kanpur is one of the biggest holes. Some of his properties in Kannauj are still being searched and more hidden money is likely to tumble out. Two local militants of lashkar e toiba were killed in encounter with security forces in South Kashmir's Sofian district on Saturday, officials said. The funeral rites of late Dr. Sanjay Upreti was held on Saturday at his native village in Mamring on the river banks of River Tista. The funeral ceremony was attended by Chief Minister Prem Singh Gole along with his cabinet of ministers, doctors, healthcare workers and scores of former patients and well-wishers of the cardiologist. The Bharatiya Janata Party on Saturday launched a special micro-donation campaign to seek people's support. The campaign will run from December 25th to February 11th, the death anniversary of Deen Dayal Upadhyay. Sand artist Sudarshan Patnayak marks Christmas with his stunning sand sculpture which is 50 feet long and 28 feet wide and he used 5,400 roses to build the sculpture. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a tweet said, tributes to respected Atalji on his birth anniversary, remembering Atalji on his Jayanti. We are inspired by his rich service to the nation 
He devoted his life to making India strong and developed. His development initiatives positively impacted millions of Indians. The 35th edition of a fair with skilled artisans from across the country called Hunar Hat has begun in Delhi. Hunar Hat is being organized from December 23rd to January 5th, 2022 at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Delhi. More than 700 artisans, craftsmen and masters of traditional cuisine from across the country are participating in the fair. The accused in the Ludhiana blast case had links with agencies abroad, Khalistan's and drug mafia, the Punjab police said. Director General of Police Siddharth Chattopadhyay said that the police with the help of the central agencies had unveiled the blast incident within 24 hours. India recorded 7,189 new COVID-19 cases, 387 deaths in the last 24 hours, pushing the total death toll to 4,79,520 as per data released by the Ministry of Health on Saturday. The Civil Aviation Authority said regular flights between Vietnam and Japan will be resumed on January 1, 2022 with a frequency of 8 flights per week. According to the plan, Vietnam Airlines will operate three two-way flights between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City to Tokyo and Vietjet Air will operate one round-trip flight. Pakistan on Friday released 42 Afghans from different jails and handed over them to Afghan officials in Torkham, a port city in eastern Nangahar province. And the 63 participants from Assam who participated in the 27th National Thangta Championship in Jammu and Kashmir reached Guwahati yesterday. Assam bagged 15 gold, 15 silver and 17 bronze in the championship. Assam's team coach Ngari Enbam Aswani was proudly welcomed by the people of Fullertol and Lakipur Kuman. And that's the top 20 news for today. Thank you for watching Imoino Live.